Hello. So, today we are going to be drawing a a room. So, we're going to be starting our basic room. And we're not going to have a horizon line for this one. We are just going to start with a box. So, what I want you to do is draw, get your ruler. Remember? Pencil. I'm going to be using a marker for my whiteboard and your paper and you're just going to draw a square right in the middle remember to use your ruler and draw lightly when drawing perspective um, make sure you're getting nice straight lines taking your time So now that you have a box, mine's a little crooked, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go in and fix it just a little bit. I'm going to put a dot just about center on the box right in the middle of that square. That is going to be our vanishing point, just like we talked about yesterday. The vanishing point is where everything is going to get drawn back to. So now the first thing that we want to add into our room, this is going to be the back wall. So if we are standing in the room, so if we are standing right down here, and we are a not so creative stick person, and we want to become more creative, everything in that vanishing point would go right back there. So the first thing we want to draw is the floor. So you're going to line up the dot, which is your vanishing point, with the corner of the box over here. And then you're going to draw a line through those, and you're going to take it all the way through to the edge of your paper. So use your ruler. And just draw your line all the way down to the edge of your paper and then go ahead and do that again on the other side just like that once you have that we're going to go ahead and add a ceiling you're going to do the same thing just on the top Bring the line all the way through the edge of your paper. And once you have that, go ahead and do the other side. So you should end up with a big X right across your whole paper that is centered right on your vanishing point, right there in the middle. Now, now that you have that, go ahead and erase the lines that are inside your box. leave the vanishing point and now we have we have our walls so we have wall wall number one and wall number two then we'll put a ceiling up here and a floor down here so we have our those there and they probably look a little backwards to you because of the way my camera films it but now we know where we're at okay we're going to take out our little stick person here and now that we have our room and our back wall, we need to start adding in some features. So this is where some of the things that you drew the other day and the ideas that you came up with will come into play in your room. And whatever those might be, and you can always come up with more ideas. But for this, right now, we're just going to draw a couple basic things so you get the idea. So first, let's put in a window together. 
So remember, everything goes back to the vanishing point right in the middle. And the window, I'm going to put it here on this side. And I'm just going to draw draw some lines. Draw really lightly because we're going to end up erasing these lines. I'll draw one line down here in the bottom. And we're making like a V for Vanderband coming right out of that vanishing point. Or it could be for vanishing point. And then we are there we have the top and the bottom of our window. Now we need the sides. So the sides, remember, they're just like the boxes we drew yesterday. The sides of a window would be parallel to the edges of the wall. So we have the edges of the wall here. They, those are going to be parallel. So the trick that we did yesterday, take your ruler and follow can follow the guidelines that you drew and we're going to put the first part of our window here so the side that's closest to that back wall there and then we're going to take the ruler follow that line out a little further the edge here and that will be our window so now you can go ahead and erase the guidelines to the vanishing point from the edge of the window, just like yesterday we erased them from the back of the boxes to the vanishing point. And now we have our window. So we can add a little some details now. Maybe I'll add in some nice curtains, oh, some folds there. And then the curtain that's closest to us is going to be bigger. So anything that you draw in the room that is closer to where you would stand or where you are looking from is going to be bigger. Just like that, maybe there is, maybe it's divided up a little. So there's our window. And now let's put in something else. Let's put in um, maybe a bed. Well, a bed's pretty generic. And the bed, what you're going to do, remember, starting at the vanishing point, using your ruler, drawing lightly, you're just going to draw your guideline. So I want my bed right over here. Then I'm going to draw a second one. So this is what's going to make the top of our bed. So I want my bed pretty big. So I'm going to draw it kind of wide. There. So those are going to be my guidelines. And now my lines for the edge of the bed are going to run parallel with the top and the bottom of my back wall. So I can start here. You know, bring my ruler up. Draw it across, and there's part of or the back part of my bed. And then I'm going to draw, use my ruler, follow those guidelines, bring it down. And then over here, this is going to be the foot or the front of my bed. So now we have the top part of the bed. So we can go in and erase the wall lines there because my bed is not transparent. So I like beds that are not see-through. And then what I'm going to do is I need to complete my box. So to get my parallel line, I can put my ruler on the, the wall, the edge of the wall over here, and bring it over until it meets the corner of the bed. And then I'm just going to draw a line line down, then over some more until I meet the other corner of the bed down here at the bottom, the closer edge, and I'll draw another line down. And then those, to get the bottom of my bed, I can draw a line from my vanishing point down. So I meet those lines. 
and then erase any lines that are inside that bed. And any extra, if I went over there, and then I need the front of my bed right here. I'm going to take the line it up with the floor. That line, that's going to be my parallel line I match up. And then I'm going to follow the guidelines down until I meet, meet that bottom point of the bed. I'm just going to draw my line straight across. And if you don't draw very neat the first time, go back and erase it. And you can add it in. And any lines that are inside that bed then, I'm going to, going to erase. Then over here, I need to draw the edge of my bed. So I will get my parallel line, use my ruler. There. And maybe my bed has, maybe I have some feet here, the foot of the bed. Go in. Can give it some details now. So there would be no lines going back to the vanishing point now. So there's my bed. Maybe I have some pillows. Blankets here. that comes down and the blankets are going to be a little wrinkly so maybe I'll put this because you know blankets don't always stay nice and clean and crisp so maybe there's some wavy lines maybe my box curves and when you add details the boxes and the basic shapes that you make you're going to want to trace over them and make them look a little more more natural so in this case you'll make them look like the nature things that you are adding into your room. So there is there is my bed. So I could go in and I could just keep adding more and more features. Maybe I add a rug down here. Those kinds of things. And you can kind of see how that starts to take shape and becomes a room. So now I want you to draw your own room. So start with the box, remember, and then draw the lines back to make the, the floor and the ceiling. And then start to add in some features. And if you're having a hard time or you're struggling, you can ask each other for help. Figure it out, challenge yourself, or I will be coming around to help you again.